Well, hello everybody and welcome to our bedroom. Yes. <laughs> We've got, well, we're sat, we're sat on an island at the moment. Yes, yeah. An island bed. Yes, our new island bed. Yeah. And and that, yeah. Well, you'll see, uh, we've got all the blinds closed mm -hmm. um, and the lights on. Yeah. So you'll see, they're actually quite bright in here. We have mm. we've no lights on behind the camera. No. We've got all the lights no. on behind us, which is a bit weird. Um, just a, It is quite bright, yeah, so it it's really good. Because mm. um, we want to show you what's underneath the mattress. Well, we're going to give we you a bit want more problems of a like last time, and I think bit more of a be, detailed yes, look we are. of that. Mm. So um, we're going to show you the mattress, and then show you the new uh, mattress protector and the bed sheets that we yes. bought um, fitted for the island bed. Yes. And one of the interesting things: the island bed has a sort of rounded shape at the mm. end, and it's split in two. Mm. Although the mattress is not split; it's joined, mm. but it it sort of folds up um, to allow access to the storage that's just here and access to the um, with the bed board mm. yeah, the, the issues we had in Jasmine were that we had the, the two beds above uh, the garage mm. something was seriously wrong with that garage because it always got really yeah. really cold mm. even though we had the heating on full blast and the vents fully open even if we shut all the vents in the van, it still wouldn't blow enough no. heat through to the garage. The garage would remain at about 42 degrees, very cold. Um, and hence we had, and hence we had that, all that condensation mm. uh, problem. In one week we could wash them and in one week they'd be back. Well, because just, it was just, just a solid board and they were getting ruined, like weren't they? Like a blooming river under there. Yeah. Anyway. Um, moving on from that and good news here, I move, think. <laughs> moving yes. on from that. <laughs> I, do you know, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I, you know, and if anybody, anybody out there thinks the same, let us know in the comments. I think that when we went to Travel World and we asked them for a, you know, motorhome, and we said, look, we like this, mm. and we told them that we live full time in it. Mm. I think they should have said, hang on, the motorhome you're choosing not fit for purpose. No, because if you sleep on those beds all the time you'll get condensation mm. and mould. Mm. You know, I don't think those beds are fit for purpose. No, I don't. No. I don't. Not it right. It started very, anyway. very soon. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. anyway. This is happy now. We're going to show you this that lovely was, yeah. new bed. That wasn't the only problem. You'll know about yes. all the other yeah. issues. Yeah. Massive issues. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> yes. Starting afresh yeah. with a fresh new bed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no staining, <laughs> no mould, no. nothing. So let's show you yeah. uh, under the bed. <laughs> so it's pretty much the same on the other side. It's got the little um, pull things there, mm. and there's a whole load of storage underneath um, each of the sofas. You can see we've got the sort of little table, the sort of caravan yeah. style yeah. table yeah. Yeah. that we can move around. Yeah, it's not fixed. <clears throat> you just move it around and put it in the cupboard when we don't want it. Yeah, so mm. you can see um, there's quite a bit of space. Yeah. Massive. Mm. And we can sit here and watch the television. We just have to pull that down. Yeah, the TV is just about yeah. there. Yeah. Drops mm. down. Mm. And we've got love two comfortable chairs there. So that's brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed the little tour of the front of our van. We're so excited about it, but we'll show you it again when we filled it up with the stuff we got from Jasmine Meyer. Because believe me, it's going to be chock a block when we get all that stuff in here. So anyway, we'll say bye for now. Bye everyone. Bye. So the, at the bottom end of the bed, we've got you know the, the mattress splits, and we've got all this massive storage area under here. It all comes up on a ratchet and you've got all that under there. So this is the storage space underneath the bed. You can't really see much of it, but you'll get a better view um, from there. So there's a little sort of space here, a similar space over the other side. And then this big, big space. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could fit, you could fit a whole person in there, I think, if you want to smuggle people. 
um, <laughs> another another place to hide our sugar. Yeah, <laughs> like we did in the other one. Yeah. Mm. Down well, there, we'll, it's excellent. Yeah. yeah, we'll put that down. We'll just collapse that down. So that's the storage area under the bed. But we've got this bit, which is the um, this bit goes out into the garage area. But if I pull that up, um, you'll see how that mattress splits over. It's all joined on, but it's just one of those folding mattresses. And you'll see underneath, it's got this. Um, they call it dry mat. If you sort of get get close to, you'll that. see that it's sort of um, a sort of plasticky um, honeycomb material that is just keeps the mattress away from direct contact with the board. But you'll see this is this is um, over a year old and it's completely dry. It, no sign of mould at all, not one bit. Um, so this goes, this goes on here. These little white circles are little gripping pads for the dry mat to stop it uh, moving around too much. So that keeps that um, away from the board. And we just fold the mattress back in That fits in there nicely so so I think it's all gonna be um, very nice now Wendy's gonna show you the sheets and um, mattress protectors that we bought we haven't yet bought a double duvet or <laughs> a double duvet cover um, and so we're still sort of managing by with the single duvets on top of the bed so let's just show you the sheets and protectors that we bought. Right, now first of all I'll show you the mattress protector. We got it from the Better Sleep Company and it cost $22.95 plus $5.95 shipping because it's got the, it cost quite a lot and there was mu wasn't really much choice because it's got the rounded edge so it'll fit nicely and won't fall off the bed. Yeah you'll see the bed has this sort of rounded edge to give people room to to get around if it was a completely square edge there'd be no room to get around it it's it's fully elasticated right round so it's got like a valance round it so i think it will stay on very well i don't like those ones that have got the straps it's not worth it so i think it'll be a good buy but i'll let you know because i've never bought anything from the better sleep company before How much and was I, it? It was twenty two ninety nine, and we had to pay five twenty five shipping, so it came to twenty eight twenty four. This cost us. I think we missed a trick there. If we'd ordered them together, we might have only had to pay one shipping, yeah. but we did order them separately, didn't we? Yeah, and they didn't have the sense to combine the order, so they were both in your name, and we got them both the same day. So I think it's a bit of a con, really. We we've ended up paying ten pound fifty shipping for the two of them. So here we are, we've fitted the mattress protector. It is an extraordinarily snug fit. It yeah. really does only just fit. And I think, you know, maybe, maybe we've got it just a little bit crooked, but um, it looks fine. I think it, it's just absolutely great. So Wendy's, get, Wendy's got the sheet now. Yes. She's going to tell us a bit about the sheet. Oh, oh dear, now I can't even, uh, that is more difficult to find where, where it fits actually. Oh, so what about the price? Yeah, well the price of this sheet was, let me have a look, this is the Better Sleep Company on Amazon Marketplace and we've got a Easy Care Finish Silver Grey Island Bed and it was seventeen ninety nine plus five twenty five shipping so it came to cost us twenty three twenty four. And we only bought one because we wanted to see what the quality was like. Is it, it's um, isn't it a, a twenty-two thread cotton thing? It's polyester cotton, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't uh, say it's yeah. cotton. It just says it's luxury it, twenty thread cotton, easy yeah. care finish. But I don't think that's the best 
straight it, cotton. I think 400 is. It's polyester cotton. Let me just look. I know it's polyester cotton. Mm. It's a mix. Yeah. So the colour, silver grey, turns out to be a very light yeah. um, violet colour. Yeah, it does. It reminds me of those sweet Palmer violets. Remember those? Yeah, I remember those. I hated them. But it's a very light colour. Yeah. I love them. I'd, I'd eat the packet now. Well, I'll tell you, I can't find <laughs> any washing instructions in them at all. It doesn't seem to be any label in them. Oh, well, if there's no washing instructions, that means you don't have to wash them. <laughs> Ever. Well, I think... I think oh actually I think that is the that's the bottom. Ah, so let's have a right. go getting this okay. on, shall we? We're yeah. gonna put the sheet on. Notice it's all crinkled up uh, and we're using it straight out of the packet. Mm. And we don't this is what we always do, we don't wash things no, when they're new. Because no. I think they've been washed in the factory in China or yeah. <laughs> wherever, my, India. My mum, whenever she got new things she would never wear them or put them on sheets <laughs> on the bed or anything because she thought they would be harmful to your health i think it was the fumes or the chemicals or something that they were made with i don't know why but she washed everything even in later years when we cared for her we used to wash everything but we never have done and we're not going to now we're going to put it straight on the bed out the packet <laughs> that's right yeah so well, that, i don't know if it. it is but we're going to do it and we'll, we'll show you that um creased up and all after we fitted it yeah the sheet went on very very easy and there was a little bit of um bit to spare but there is no washing or care instructions on it so maybe they're in the box in all the packet but at the moment we're not sure but i think it looks very very nice you mm. can see the creases in it yeah and you know there's a center crease there but mm. i think that's all fine mm. but steve we you know we don't own an iron, do we? So there's nothing we can do about it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't own an iron or an ironing board, and it's been wonderful not having one. <laughs> Actually, if you live in a motorhome, you couldn't have a full ironing board. I guess you'd just have to iron on the table, put a sheet on there, like they used to do if you didn't have one. You used to put a sheet on the table and iron. Mm. <laughs> anyway, we're very, very happy, and we'll let you know how we get on with them and the bed. Well, uh, that's another bedroom story finished. Uh, we haven't shown you in a detailed look of the bedroom covers because there's pretty much nothing in them. I've got two empty baskets in mine. Wendy's got some medicines in hers, that's it. Um, but that, yeah, so that's it. I think on the ironing front, I think what people do is instead of having an iron, one of those smoothing irons, they have a steamer. I think they're little small steamers that you can hang clothes up and steam them mm. and the creases fall out. Mm. Never use one. If anybody out there has used one of those and you can make a recommendation, there's on occasion I like to just to have a little crease-free shirt <laughs> yeah. now and again, maybe once a year. Mm. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you have got any recommendations for how you iron on the road, well, that sounds a bit weird. Um, <laughs> if you're in a motorhome or caravan, how do you iron? Um, or do you use those steamer things? Or are um, you like us and never iron anything? Or, yeah. Mm. I, I've not used an iron for... Nearly two years two now. Years. Yeah, we haven't, no. no. And I, I've not really missed it, no, actually. I, I used to spend... When the boys were little, mm. I used to spend so long ironing all their school shirts, all your work shirts, oh. but anyway. Happy oh, days no. now, no more ironing, so... <laughs> I do like, though, I love to see nicely ironed things. It gives me great pleasure. So, you know, it's sort of a bit of sweet pillar. I loved everything nicely ironed, but I didn't really like doing it. I remember a few years ago, I used to get paid £7 for doing ironing, and I'm going mm. back about 14 years. So, mm. God, our wages haven't gone up since then, have we? <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> anyway. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's it for, for now. Uh, for the bedroom episode oh. from the Happy Travellers. Yeah. Bye bye for now. Bye for now, everyone. <laughs> bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you again later. Yeah. But oh, 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 what, oh, what, what oh. Say? <coughs> I'm coughing away. Oh. I knew there was something we'd missed. Oh. The name. Oh yes, the name. Yes. And the winner is uh, well. 
<laughs> we'll do it the same as last time. I, I thought of a name, and then Wendy's added added some bits in. Anyway, we both decided on uh, a registration number based uh, name. Yes. Plus, and I can't remember who said. Um, one of our one of our subscribers. Our friends on there. Yeah. Yes, I can't. Yeah. So thank you yes. um, for suggesting the name of the Auto Trail Comanche that's going to be travelling with the Happy Travellers is Nikita plus we've added a name yes, from our subscriber it, so her full name is Nikita Chloe Comanche Nikita <laughs> Chloe Comanche yes there we are. So now you know, people mm. have been asking, mm. it's Nikita, Chloe, the Comanche. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And Nikita means people's victory, and it worked out very well, because we do feel we've had a little victory in getting her. We so. do. And um, we do feel so sad about Jasmine Meyer. Let's hope we she has a happy her. life Oh, I going hope she forward. does, yes. Yeah. Anyway. That's it for now. Yeah. We really are going. Are we going? Yeah. Bye, -bye. Bye now. Bye. Bye. See you later. Yeah.